Hello there, everyone. It's Simon Mark Three, and welcome to um, an extremely metal, I guess you could say, an extremely violent title screen. Uh, welcome to a game called Mother Gunship. Uh, first person roguelike semi procedurally generated bullet hell shooter. Yeah, try saying all that five times fast, but I think that's everything. <laughs> oh dear, mother gunship. Okay. Oh, and it's also got a bit of a sense of humour as well, so it's um, it's a bit of an odd one. Uh, also, by the way, it's an indie game in case in case you couldn't tell, but uh, yeah, mother gunship. Let's get rolling on this one because uh, I just I felt it would be an interesting one to bring in. Because it has been on my radar for a while, but unfortunately it was never in a spot where I could justify buying it. Them? Did we find the right ship? It's someone, Wilkinson. That's good enough for me. They'll do. Give them the armor. Listen, recruit, you may not remember much, but that's not really important to me. What is important is that we get you out of there. Get moving. That armor you have is equipped with triple jump boots. We'll see about upgrading that more if you make it out alive. Okay, um, I was just trying to say, this thing has been, I, this crossed my radar like uh, a few years ago. Well, actually a year-ish, year and a half-ish, somewhere around there. And that's because I've always been kind of into customizing, fiddling, tools, stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, customizing stuff. And this particular one is, its main draw is it lets you customize weaponry. Like, really hard. Well, very hard. More like in a distinctive Seems way, I guess you could say. There are a few turrets in the next room. Punch them in the face parts, or anywhere really. Just punch them. Also, this colonel is extremely competent, and we should listen to everything he says ever. So yeah, you can start. Starting to see some of the elements already. Beating, but you'll need a gun. In that shop, there should be some gun parts and a crafting bench. Pick up the parts and activate the station. I think you can already see some of the uh, how this game is structured, right? What we passed through there was a room giving us a summary and things like that. And then it loads Pick the next combat parts. area. After that, you can activate the crafting station. I'm not letting you out of there until you get yourself a gun. Your fists are cool, but not that cool. But they are pretty cool fists, though. I mean, look, they even get big and glowy, too, but... <laughs> okay, right, then. So, we're in the tutorial. Um, the game only gives you one profile, though. So, to get the tutorial and the opening and, get, and the intro, um, I had to reset my profile, which wasn't a big thing. I mean, I literally just picked this up... Well, I, I guess confession time here. I got this game for free. Because it came up free for free on the Epic Store this week, and as I said I couldn't justify to myself buying it before that because this game does have its shortcomings as well. But it's a fun little game, so there you go. Don't don't take that as a knock against the game, by the way. The fact that I didn't pay for it, it's just that uh, you know I I I've no, made no bones of the fact that I have a bit of a rough financial situation going on for quite some time now, <laughs> so. My budget is limited. I'm glad this game for free, and the developers did get paid because Epic does pay for the free games that they give out. So, bit of a win-win for me, though, I guess. Welcome to Joe's Arms and Armory Crafting Stations, where the only limit to your destructive capabilities is your imagination. The secret behind Joe's Crafting Station is in its unique mix of modular parts. It's like playing with blocks, just highly explosive. This is the gun you are crafting. The glowing arrows designate sockets you can select. Try selecting a socket now. So yeah, this is the uh, weapon crafting customization thing I mentioned, which um, draws you in to, well, drew me in to first notice this game. So each arm, where we've got the fist right now, has got a socket mount. When you select a socket, you have access to your inventory, where you can select parts. You have three tabs in your inventory. Connectors add more sockets. Caps do funny things to your entire gun. 
And barrels? Well, those should be obvious. There are only two rules. First, parts have to physically fit where you want to put them. And second, barrels need to face forward. You could thank the insurance companies for that. Go ahead and try adding a new part now. Insurance companies ruin everything. I want the barrels to face backwards, darn it. <laughs> but yeah, I think you can see exactly where this is going now. So I can rotate the things. I want to Add, get that one remove, mounted. Or rotate parts however you want. But keep an eye on your energy costs. Every part you add costs more energy to fire. So sure, build a 40 barrel gun if you want. Just be prepared to only fire once before having to wait for the recharge. And there you go. See, that's the balance mechanic. Every barrel you add in requires energy to operate. So, 4 energy to fire. Damage 4, fire rate 10, which has 1%. So, barrels are the offensive parts. Connectors just like add body to the gun. And then caps do funny things. In this case, ricochet mod lets the shots bounce all over the place. Drafting. And there we go. Don't worry, you'll get better at it. Wilkinson, can you get that door open? I'm on it. And that is the weapon customization in this game. Get the parts, build gun, go travel. And yeah, here's the chapel you mentioned. That's how we fund this resistance, after all. It's also the only way you're getting a better gun. At least for now. I'd like to point out, by the way, um, the weapon shops and things are on the enemy ships. <laughs> so... I guess that's a spoiler. Uh, not really much of one, though. Considering we are literally boarding enemy ships for this entire thing. And yes, I know I'm missing horribly. There we go. Okay. It's also worth noting that. Um, Loot items like coins or those little gems and things. So we're looking for a self-destruct button. Should be easy to spot. Big, red, obvious. The archivists like to do things by the book here. That's your ticket out. That's our enemy, by the way, the archivist. Uh, what was I saying? I forgot. I've completely lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, yeah, it gives us this free left hand gun. Bouncy, bouncy. Whoops. And then gives us a bit of more of a bully hell situation to try and deal with. Nothing too crazy so far. Oh yeah, um, all the loot items and things. They despawn really quickly, so it encourages you to be moving around in the middle of the action, getting up close so that you get all of the drops and things as well. Because otherwise they all just disappear pretty quickly. So, you know, connector, energy burst. Energy burst is a great piece. Ooh, another machine gun. I wish I had more coins, but th that's part of the whole RNG thing going on. I'll grab another machine gun because cool. Uh, I really would like to have an energy burst, but actually no, that's not the thing I was thinking. Of. I was thinking of a slightly different weapon system. Never mind. Okay, crafting. Let's go. I'll modify this weapon further. With the addition of... Oh, I can't... Oh, wait, no, I can rotate it. There we go. Are those different guns, actually? Chain gun, damage fall, damage... Oh, they are slightly different guns. I didn't realise. Slightly more powerful, better crit chance on that one, but uh, slightly slower rate of fire. I didn't even know that was a thing. Also, this gun has uh, got, just got, like... Let's see. Power circuit for extra damage with some pushback. Random connector piece. Connector pieces and a pulse box. Whatever the heck that is. This is the first time I've actually looked at that gun, even though I played the tutorial before uh, doing this. So it's just like a very slow moving, somewhat arcing power shot. Okay, but I think I like these better. <laughs> because Daka. You know, I wasn't expecting someone like you. Our intel said you were quite the soldier back during the invasion. I hope you're as good as the records indicate. 
I think the feeling he's being nice there, because basically, if you remember at the start, we were a random person, and we were just given the suit we're in, and that's all it boils down to. But yeah, um, I'll level you with now. One of the reasons I didn't pick up this game is because it was um, some of the flaws I mentioned in it. And one of the things. Oh, so that's a secret! I wondered what the heck the game meant by secrets. And, oh, look! I wondered near this wall by accident, it suddenly revealed something. In this case, a boost to my maximum energy. <laughs> um, did that reveal something else, or. Oh, pfft. oh! Another one. Wow. So secrets are literally hidden in the walls in this game. I did not know what a secret was until now, but you actually have to walk next to everything to try. It. Okay, I guess. Ugh. Anyway, yeah. Um, these the individual fighting areas tend to be pretty small and they can get repetitive later on, which is one of the criticisms I noted about this game. So it's, um... There's a lot of variety in the weapons generations and things that you put together. The rooms can get a bit repetitive after a while. Hey, apparently. did you see how that last door had a skull in front of it? I do that to my office, too. That's how you know I'm the boss. God knows why the aliens do it, though. Yeah. I know why, of course, but positive question. Why did the aliens put a big, threatening skull in front of a door? Hmm. Maybe that's why. Okay. Actually, I don't need that sword, do I? Yeah, it's a boss. It reminds me of a Leviathan from Dead Space, actually. Now that, now that I think about it. Just a coin that might ever do. Whoops. Yeah, this really does remind me of the Leviathan fight from Dead Space, except for the fact that this thing is actually chasing me throughout the thing rather than uh, did I get it? I hope I did. Oh well. Yeah, except the Vyathan in Dead I saw that I can see you in the Vyathan in Dead Space doesn't actually chase you around through places if I recall. It's just, um, oh jeez, pay more attention. It's, uh, there's a big circular tunnel chasing you around kind of thing. Oh, you're sinking into the lava that you were apparently okay with. Sorry, the molten metal you were okay with before. That's a coin, that's a coin. <laughs> Gotta get the coins. I have nine coins, and I don't know what happens when you bring coins out of the levels in this. Also, for some reason, the aliens decided to put a green finish flag. Well, Ugh. I didn't think you'd run into anything that large, but you held your own. That's probably what the skull door was all about. Anyway, find that self-destruct button and get out of there. See what I mean? The best kernel ever. <laughs> right. Don't wait around. There should be an escape pod nearby. Hustle, soldier. 
and this is the obli um, obligatory escape pod fly out of burning ship because reasons. But that was the first tutorial level. There is another tutorial set in the next level which teaches you a bit more and then from there it's like free to go kind of thing. Good work. You're not dead. We're sending a shuttle for you now. But there's no time to rest. Your work is just beginning. See those ships? Each one of them is an obstacle. Each one will be a battle that will test the very metal of the resistance. And each one will get us one step closer to our final objective. There she is, soldier. The heart of the Archivist fleet. That's the thing holding Earth hostage. That's our target. That's the mother gunship. Title drop. <laughs> but yeah, basically the Archivists have taken over Earth or something. Uh, I don't really understand the story because I've not really seen enough to know it yet. Welcome to your headquarters. Fully autonomous and isolated from the rest of the Resistance. Just in case you're compromised. That's it's Jasper. Oh. A loner AI who runs the ship. I'm Wilkinson from Tech Support, and I'm your on-site certified maintenance representative from Joe's Arms and Armory. Joe's Arms and Armory. Gun-shaped solutions for alien armada shape problems. I've got three other totally non-expendable agents on other ships to onboard today, so I'll keep this brief. Get your missions from the missions console. And remember, there's no potty on board, because life expectancy isn't what it used to be. When you're ready, head on up to the bridge. There's a panel under that big globe you can activate to see your next mission. Yeah, I don't know if you caught that, but there is literally no potty on board our headquarters ship because life expectancy is not what it used to be. How do, how do you feel about that? It makes you feel confident, doesn't it? Also, yeah, this thing does have multiplayer. <clears throat> Portal room is available immediately, and you can use this to literally try to summon someone to come and play with you. But I don't... I, I only know a couple of people on the Epic platform. I've never really had much of a circle of friends, so... Hmm. Those of you that know I count you as friends, please know that I appreciate you because I am very lonely. <laughs> right, moving on. Uh, um... The Resistance is about more than just destroying the mother gunship. There's an entire armada to destroy too. Select an archivist ship to choose your mission. Right now, our scanners only pick up one within range. That won't always be the case. Okay. Um, I was a note, by the way, archivist. That makes me think of like Brainiac from I think it's Marvel. Like they are harvesting the world to get all the information from it, yada yada, that kind of thing. So, <clears throat> you know, I get the feeling that might kind of thing because archivist implies the. Um, storage and the handling of knowledge and information. So why they are invading and holding Earth hostage, quote-unquote, who knows? But we are, quote-unquote, the Resistance. I serve a, quote-unquote, Colonel. Um, and I am, quote-unquote, not expendable. Or something. We're so. giving you some gun parts to get you started, recruit. Everyone likes options. You can only bring a few gun parts with you on a mission. Some missions will allow for more gun parts. Don't judge me. I don't make the rules. Right. And if you die, you'll lose all the gun parts you have taken with you. Avoid that. So yeah, um, this is what happens with loadout. Anything you bring back from a mission, you get to store. But if you die, as you just told us, you lose anything you took with you into the mission. So... You, you don't really want to take your favourite stuff into every mission. But you do want to try and survive and finish the mission, so don't take missions that you don't feel ready to do. But um, I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take the energy stream so you can see why I kind of like it. Uh, looking for something else with really high fire rate because they are very flexible and forgiving. I think. I do like having that machine gun, but the, I'll take the chain gun just because of the better fire rate. And to equip both those into the same weapon system, I'm going to take a connector. Uh, I will take a... What's the difference between connector? Oval connector and... I'll, I'll take the connector triangle. So, 
equip all of that. Oops. Now, as much as I'd like to, we can't just waltz over to the mother gunship. It's usually cloaked and shielded. Luckily, Wilkinson thinks she's got the answer to that. Most archivist ships have a data core at their heart. If I can get my hands on one of those data cores, then maybe I can crack it for information. Your mission? We need intel about getting more intel about getting intel about cloaking. Get onto that ship, get the data core. Good luck. So we need the intel to get the intel to get the intel about the cloaking, so get onto the uh, enemy yes, ship. a foundry <laughs> ship. Yeah. We've never figured out what they build on these ships, but I know what you will build here. Character. Get it? Good. Now go get that intel and don't melt your face off. The data core should only be a few rooms in. It should be as simple as getting in, getting the core, and getting out. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, she says. I don't know. There we go. So, no mods on this thing, but... Lots of firepower. That's why I bought the energy stream. Um, actually, I want to really quickly swap that around a little bit because of aesthetics. I will put the chain gun there and I'll add the energy stream over there. It's just because I like to see the barrels going, so it's like. No, not that one. Back up! I haven't mentioned I like multi barrel weapons like that. They look good, in my opinion. All paths should eventually lead to the ship's core. It's just a matter of how dangerous the trip is. I want to fire 211 shots in that very short time. Okay. That's the power of the engine stream, by the way. Ridiculous rate of fire. You can buy more gun parts here, but keep in mind you can only bring a certain amount of gun parts back with you. If you die, well, we have a plan for that, but your gun parts won't come along. Oh yeah, that's where it tells you the gun parts don't come with you. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, Blast of Fire at 5. I think I want to get something... Let's get the rocket launcher. That's a big punch kind of thing. What's the pressure booster do? Velocity plus 25%. Yeah. I guess I'll grab the blaster as well. And I think I'll actually reconfigure really quick. Sorry about this. Attachment mode. Yeah, you don't need a connector. You can just at attach a barrel straight onto it. So I'm just going to grab the rocket launcher for my right arm. And my primary offensive thing... I, want, I decided that I want to have my power weapon on. Yeah, I want to have my power weapon on the um, right, on my right mouse, and the left mouse I will take the Wow, I'm not doing too well, where am I? Right, finish. Right, power weapon on right. General purpose weapon left. So Got a rocket launcher. And... Daka! <laughs> Which has been enhanced because I added the uh, extra weapon to it as well. Oh! I saw a flicker there. Right before it revealed. Is that... How that works? Does it flicker and when you get close to it? I do not know. All I know is that secrets shouldn't be so secret because secrets should not be hidden like well, that, don't well, it? Well, 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 it ain't the stumpy colonel. Shepherding another starry-eyed youth to their doom, I see. Hylas, you take your amphibious keister out of here. We don't have time to talk to you. Commander Hylas leads the flight squadron. They're attempting to take on the alien fleet head on. Same way we've been trying since the beginning of this war. That's why the Admiral tasked me with finding an alternative. Ha! Ah. Is that what you think? The Admiral gave you this operation to keep you out of the way. So yeah, this war has been going on for quite a while and this has become commercialized. As you can tell. So, 
Ah! So if there was a flicker there. Ah, is that. Uh... What I was thinking is, is a flicker when it gets hit by a shot. So is randomly spraying bullets all over the darn place a useful way to find secrets? Thing is, I don't know. Oh, there's something all the way up there. Really? Why is there something all the way up there? Oh, I can get onto the. Is that? Uh, I don't feel safe up here. Jeez, why is this a thing? I do not like parkour puzzles like this. And yet I'm doing it anyway. Ah. So it's not shooting, it's just you have to keep your eye out. And that's a max health boost as well. Uh, fine for secrets, but... I don't think I really want to be searching around just for these temporary buffs like this. If there's something more useful, sure, but I'm not, not really feeling that. I'd also also like to know, by the way, I seem to be getting a ridiculous amount of ooh, blind blaster and a lava container fires fire mines plus five percent. What? I don't know what that. I need more connectors though. I, I seem to be getting a lot more coins than I did during my trial run as well, so that's kind of odd. Let's take the mini rocket. Let's take an extra connector piece. And because it's weird, I'll grab the lava container. Okay, so. Um, rocket launcher. Okay. Then barrels. Let's add that to it, okay. Is that enough space? It is not. Oh, so I can't, I can't quite do that. But yeah, the lava container seems to be a cap, though. So that's not too bad. Um, thing is, I don't know what it does, so... I will add in the rocket launcher because... Wait, the mini rockets are more powerful? And fire fire. Really? Why? Oh, whatever. <laughs> eh, more damage, but... Uh... Oh, I see. So you saw that, that uh, glowing sphere? I came across that effect last when I was testing out this game. Basically, that's a damage AOE. Actually, that, you know what? That that should go on my other weapon. <laughs> that should go on my other weapon. Actually, I'll just leave the connector on there because reasons, and then I'll me attach the uh, mini rockets because power, and I'll go to my other weapon. Uh, I will take off the that and add on connector a the chain gun back and then I'll add the lava contains of that <laughs> okay <laughs> okay right so apparently this thing can now randomly spawn lava containers a five percent chance but well, this thing has a lot of fire rate. Oh, this is going to be very, very strong. And I also think I'm not going to go out of my way to search for secrets because... Yeah. Not impressed by those. Sure, they're useful to grab, but not really something I want to get. I've cut off Hylas's feed, Colonel. 
At least for now. Thanks, Wilkinson. Hylos used to care about the Earth and saving it from the aliens. Now he just cares about publicity moments and scoring paid endorsements. Remember, flight squadrons don't make you cool. That's what sunglasses are for. And leather jackets. We're all on the same side, Colonel. Sure thing, Colonel. Uh, you heard him, sunglasses and leather jackets. Now that said, I'm also going to call it there because we are at the half hour mark, actually, so... <laughs> if I walked into that while all those were up, I would probably die. So, yeah. Uh, this is Bidai Mark 3. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going enjoying the uh, this trip into Mother Gunship. And I'll catch you all some other time. See you all later. <laughs>